Yesterday, something really scary happened on roads all over America. Thousands, maybe even millions, of locusts suddenly appeared and covered the streets. It was like a scene from a strange dream or a scary movie. These insects were everywhere, landing on people and even sticking to the doors of houses. The swarm was so big and intense that it caused panic and fear among the people. Many decided to stay indoors to avoid the locusts. The whole situation looked like something out of the end of the world. It made people feel uneasy and worried about what might happen next. News about the locust invasion spread quickly, making it seem like nature itself was showing signs of chaos and disaster. Whether this terrifying event is a sign of the end times or just a strange occurrence, Archbishop Vigana has also shared his thoughts on it. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Around 5 to 6 yesterday afternoon, a massive black cloud ominously materialized in the skies over the United States. Within a mere four minutes, this ominous cloud swiftly dissipated, unleashing a torrent of millions of locusts that descended upon the roads below with alarming aggression. The ensuing chaos was unparalleled, as these voracious insects seemed to be targeting something with a ferocity that left bystanders bewildered and alarmed. What added to the bewildering spectacle was the sudden darkening of the sky as the locusts swarmed down upon unsuspecting individuals, prompting cries of shock and fear to echo throughout the affected areas. The scene bore a striking resemblance to descriptions of apocalyptic events, evoking a sense of dread and hopelessness among those caught amid the turmoil. Of particular note is the eerie similarity between these unfolding events and the prophesied scenarios of the end times, as described in various religious texts. The widespread anguish and despair felt by many only serve to reinforce the notion that these occurrences may indeed be harbingers of apocalyptic events. Additionally, the looming occurrence of the last eclipse further adds to the sense of foreboding and uncertainty that pervades the nation. As signs of impending doom continue to manifest and uncertainty looms large, it becomes increasingly challenging to dismiss the parallels between the unfolding events and the prophesied events preceding the end of days. Whether these events are interpreted as miraculous or judgmental, Archbishop Vigana has also offered commentary on the matter. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, my Divine Son presents Himself to His beloved Apostles, creating the institution of the Holy Priesthood, to commemorate His Atonement for the Apostles and for all of His children to partake in that unique Holy Supper in this day and age. In the wake of the grasshopper outbreak in America, brace yourselves for an array of peculiar phenomena descending from the heavens. Reports indicate that over 50 extraordinary events are set to unfold originating from the skies above. Among these occurrences, a multitude of strange sounds are predicted to reverberate across the globe, permeating the air with their enigmatic resonance. These mysterious sounds, echoing from distant horizons, are poised to capture the attention of people far and wide, sparking curiosity and intrigue. From eerie echoes to celestial symphonies, the skies will resound with an assortment of auditory anomalies, defying conventional explanations and challenging our understanding of the natural world. As these unusual phenomena manifest, speculation will inevitably abound, with theories ranging from the supernatural to the scientific. Some may interpret these occurrences as harbingers of impending doom, while others may view them as signs of cosmic significance, heralding a new era of understanding and enlightenment. Regardless of interpretation, one thing remains certain, the skies above are poised to become a theater of wonder and mystery, captivating the hearts and minds of all who witness these extraordinary events. 
Prepare yourselves for a journey into the unknown as the heavens unveil their secrets, one enigmatic sound at a time. These grasshoppers will exist in harmony with the earth, nourishing the very trees under which they will dwell, echoing the eternal cycle of life and rebirth. As the cicadas emerge, they will envelop the land in a spectacle unseen by any living soul, drawing us to reflect upon the majesty and terror of God's creation. In that pivotal moment of history, we will be compelled to ponder our role in the unfolding of divine prophecy or whether we will merely be observers of the grandeur of creation. Amidst the intricate tapestry of 2024, a year destined to be immortalized in the annals of time, we will be confronted with a narrative that will defy conventional understanding, urging us to delve deeper into the mysteries of our existence. Nothing is left without producing fruit, thus women must repeat my blessing to my divine son to their offspring. This blessing also includes Joseph's benediction, who is believed to be his father. As my divine son departs, I mysteriously travel with him and share his surrender, enabling him to give me to humanity and become the mother of humanity in the future. I love you, I bless you and protect you. Proverbs 30 verses 24 to 28 Four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise, ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer, hyraxes are creatures of little power, yet they make their home in the crags, locusts have no king, yet they advance together in ranks, a lizard can be caught with the hand, yet it is found in king's palaces. This passage from Proverbs 30 verses 24 to 28 offers a reflection on the wisdom and characteristics of seemingly insignificant creatures found in nature. Each of the examples provided ants, hyraxes, locusts, and lizards demonstrates qualities that are worthy of consideration and admiration. Firstly, ants are praised for their industriousness and foresight in storing food during the summer months, despite their small size and seemingly limited strength. This highlights the importance of hard work, preparation, and planning for the future. Despite their lack of power, they find refuge and security in challenging environments, teaching us the value of perseverance and resilience. Locusts, described as lacking a king, are noted for their remarkable ability to coordinate and move forward collectively in swarms. Now, let's join and pray. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Heaven and Earth, I humbly beseech Thee, from the bottom of my heart, to succor me in this necessity, there are none that can withstand Thy power. O, show me in this that Thou art my Mother. O Mary, conceived without sin, Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Thank you for watching our video, and we extend our heartfelt gratitude for sharing the Catholic faith with our team. May the messages shared inspire and strengthen your journey of faith. Stay blessed and connected in the love and teachings of the Catholic tradition. God bless you.